Hi, my name is Vladimir and in this tutorial I will show you how to upgrade the PlayStation 4 hard drive. To begin, we will first need to download the PlayStation software from its official website. You can also find the link in the description of this video. Here, do not press on download update, but scroll all the way down to the bottom of the website until you come to the part that says perform a new installation of the system software. Click on the small download now button to download the full system software. Now this next part is very important. Once the file has finished downloading, create a new folder and name it update, all uppercase, and put the new file inside it. Next create another new folder and name it PS4. Now put the update folder inside the PS4 folder. So inside the PS4 folder there is an update folder and inside of that is the PlayStation 4 software. Next. Plug in a USB flash drive and drag the PS4 folder into it. The USB flash drive needs to be formatted in the FAT format and doesn't have to be empty, but it's recommended to have at least 4GB of empty free space. After the copying has finished, right click on the USB flash drive and press on eject and remove the drive. Now we will start with the preparations on the actual PS4. First thing you need to do is go to your trophies. This will synchronize all your trophies with your PlayStation account. Next, plug in the USB flash drive and go to settings. Just to be safe, we will also copy all the save game data to the USB flash drive. Press on application save data management and choose save data in system storage. Now the hard part here is that you will need to select each and every save game data and copy it to the flash drive. For some reason, the PlayStation menu exits every time you make a copy, so you will need to repeat the same procedure for each and every save game that you would like to keep. Since the 2.5 system upgrade, there is an option to make a backup of the complete hard drive, but I recommend that you don't use this option and make a fresh install instead, without restoring any of the old settings. It might take longer to set up all the settings and download all the games again, but your PS4 will start up and run noticeably faster, much like when you do a clean install on a PC. After all the preparation is finished, it's time to replace the actual hard drive. To remove the glossy cover, place both hands on it and while gently pushing down, pull forward and the cover snaps right off. This will reveal the hard drive. Sony really did a great job with the PlayStation and making the hard drive easy to replace. Now here we have the PlayStation screw. That is the only screw you need to remove in order to replace the hard drive. It can be removed with a normal Phillips type screwdriver. Once the screw is removed, simply pull on the hard drive bracket and the hard disk comes right off. The standard PlayStation 4 hard drive is a 2.5 inch 500GB drive that is held down by 4 screws. We will need to remove these also. Another good thing is the rubberized holders for the screws that help reduce the noise. Once you remove all 4 screws, simply slide out the hard drive. The drive is 7mm thick 5400RPM single platter drive manufactured by HGCT and we will replace it with this 1TB 5400 RPM 9.5mm dual platter drive manufactured by the same company. Funny enough, I actually got this drive from a Mac Mini. I did a video tutorial on how to upgrade your Mac Mini to an SSD before. Turns out Apple and Sony are using hard drives from the same company. To continue, slide back the drive into the bracket and put back the 4 screws. Tighten them securely, but be careful not to over tighten them so that the rubber pads will be able to work and reduce the noise. After you put back all four screws, slide back the bracket inside the PlayStation 4. Gently push all the way to the back so that the connectors snap back into place. Now put back the PlayStation screw and screw it back securely. Now the only thing left is the cover. Take a look at the shape of the cover and make sure you position it correctly on the PlayStation 4. Position it so the pins match and gently snap it back into place. That's it. You have successfully replaced the hard drive. The next step is to reinstall the PS4 software. As the new hard drive is empty, we will need to reinstall the PlayStation software from the USB drive that we prepared before. 
To begin, connect the DualShock 4 controller with the original USB cable that came with the PS4. Using another USB cable may cause issues. Next, plug in the USB flash drive with the PS4 software that we have prepared in the first step and press and hold the power button for more than 7 seconds. When you press the power button you will hear the first beep and continue holding your finger until you hear the second beep a few seconds later. After the second beep you can let go the power button. Once the PS4 starts up, press the PlayStation button on the DualShock controller. Using the D-pad, move down and select Initialize PS4 Reinstall System Software. Make sure the USB flash drive is connected and press on OK and Yes to continue. This first phase takes about a minute to complete. After this the PlayStation restarts itself and continues with the second phase. This should take about another 3 minutes to complete. After this, your PlayStation will be restored to factory defaults. It will be the same like that special day when you turned on your PlayStation 4 for the first time. You will need to set up the DualShock 4 controller, the language and the country, a camera if you have one, and the network settings. After you get everything up and running, create a new user and log in with the username and password from your PSN account. Once you log in again with your username, first go to your trophies and sync back all the trophies you have. After that is done, go to settings and choose system storage management. Here you can see and enjoy in all the extra free space that we got with the hard drive upgrade. The only thing left to do now is to re-download and reinstall all of your games and copy back each of your save games one by one. That's it, you've just successfully upgraded the hard drive of your PlayStation 4 and did a fresh install. I hope you find this tutorial useful and thank you for watching.